What's up guys, Dust with NC Bass TV, back at it again with another video and uh, doing something I did last year but hopefully uh, it'll be more informative and a uh, just a better quality bait selection and more narrowed down and like uh, direct than it was last, uh, last year. So that being said, I've got all my soft plastics laid out and uh, my 1256 uh, plastic totes that go with me in my tackle bag at pretty much all times. Uh, so I guess what we can do is we can start with my soft plastic, uh, my soft plastic selection. Pretty much, you'll notice I throw four main brands, you know, with a few, uh, with a few other ones there in between. But uh, predominantly, I'm a missile baits, missile baits, a Guggen, Biz baits, and uh, Strike King Rage Tail. Predominantly, I throw culprits. I do throw Yamamoto's, which y'all see that as well. But uh, that being said, I usually stick with the D bombs, uh, baby D bombs, uh, destroyers, or the baby destroyers, and the missile baits. Guggen baits, I'm pretty low right now because they're hard to get. But um, I've got the uh, few bandito bugs, a few of the. I'm, I'm missing cracking crawls and stuff like that, but I have the bandito bug, the trench hog, and the slim shake, which will be predominantly what I'll throw anyways. I do need some cracking crawls, so. Uh, that's something I got to pick up. I went to a few stores. They didn't have the colors I was looking for, so still waiting for that. I got some of those on the way though. And then biz baits, I throw the diamond tail worm and their cutter crawl in that. And the raised tail, like the raised menace and the um, structure bug. And I'll, I'll show you all you guys this as well right here, laid out in front of me. So let's uh, let's uh, let's take a look a little bit more in depth to my soft plastic selections. Alright, so first things first, the reason why I throw missile baits and I think that they're probably the best bait on the market is one, for their price, you get a good quality plastic, very, very high quality plastic. And I don't know if you guys know, but they put grooves in their, um, in their, in their plastic and it makes them just that much softer. Let me grab one of those real quick. Bam, right here. Alright, here we got a D-bomb in a, um, in a super bug color. But as you can see, those grooves in this those grooves in that plastic i'm trying to see if i can get a good light for y'all the grooves in the plastic are like it makes it the bait that much softer when you push on it, you know them grooves have give to them the way that he designed this i think is absolutely insane and the best possible way to design a soft plastic where you don't even have to you don't even have to make the plastic as soft because you put the grooves and that makes up for the softness of the plastic but that's why i believe that these are are going to be money and I've thrown them a lot and I've caught a lot of fish on them. Uh, one thing I'm excited about is this drop shot bait that they have called the D-Bomb. Let me get one of those out. Alright, I got one in my hand and it's called the Bomb Shot. I don't know why I call it the D-Bomb, but the Bomb Shot, as you guys can see right here, super, super soft. You can, I mean, it's just so soft with them grooves in it and has that really, really light tail. I think that's going to kill it on a drop shot. Super, super finesse fishing. This is probably going to catch a ton of fish for me this year. It's going to be a game changer. And again, that's the Missile Baits Bomb Shot. All right, you guys, I know you're familiar with the Guggens. I got uh, some Bandito Bugs and an Alabama Crawl. I got some uh, Trench Hogs in the black and blue. Some Slim Shakes in the black and blue. Slim Shakes in like a watermelon. That's it, yeah, watermelon red right there. Um, if you guys haven't tried Biz Baits yet, this is their uh, Cutter Crawl right here in a June Bug color. I have a video <clears throat> where I put this on a jig trailer with a few other jig trailers as well, and it really shows the action on this on this uh, on this crawl, and it's fantastic. Um, Biz Baits, their Diamond Tail Worm. I still believe that these are one of the best that you can buy right now, and I'll take that out of the bag and show you guys what that looks like real quick. All right, guys, it's a little bit different of a design. This is the uh, Magic Crawl color as well. It's like a green pumpkin on top with a blue uh, bottom on it, as you guys can see, and very translucent on the side right there. But they have a very, very garlicky smell to them and this uh, this diamond tail on them right here. And these things really do, I have to put them in the tank one day and show you, they really do stand straight up and that tail just wags and just, it's irresistible to the, to the bass. So that's my favorite diamond tail worm right there. And then of course we have the raised tail. I've got a pack of the white menaces. I like throwing those on swim jigs. And I got some uh, falcon color, fal what is it again? Let's see, falcon lake crawl color in that. And then in the raised tail structure bug, I've got a, the blue, uh, blue crawl color. It's a really nice color. I'll grab that real quick and show you right there. Your blue crawl structure bug. Let's see if I can get into better light. Sorry, the light in here is not perfect. I'm working on that as well. 
but uh, just moving into the house, so I'm trying to get the lighting all fixed up. But you can see it's got that blue, that magic crawl color in there with the green pumpkin as well. Really, really nice overall bait. I love this lure. I love this uh, soft plastic. And then we got some miscellaneous stuff. I don't throw a lot of Havocs, but I got this one for like uh, on clearance. I was like, oh, I'll try it out. This is your Iron Mountain Tackle Money Crawl. If you guys watch my jig trailer video, I'll link that at the end of the video. This is, in fact, money, the money crawl, no pun intended. This thing is nice, sweet, sweet color, and sweet defense position. They stand up great. And then I have some, uh, the Zoom Super Fluke, uh, and uh, what's this, the uh, white, this is in the white ice color right here. Great color. Then I've got my, the only curly tail worms I really throw made by Culprit. I've got a water, watermelon red and a June bug. I've been throwing these for years now. That's all I throw for curly tails, really. Then I got a pack of swim baits that are in a Yamamoto bag. It's not really any Yamamoto products, but um, swim baits for whenever I'm trying to get a big bite. So, guys, that's it for the uh, for the that's it for the soft plastics. And uh, let me guys let me know what you guys think I should add or take away, or what I need to be throwing that I'm not throwing. And uh, I'm super interested in knowing that. But with that being said, let's put all this up and take a look at these, at my totes here. So my Plano boxes. All right, so let's get this cleaned up real quick. <clears throat> all right, that's done. Let's get right into the Plano 3600 series right here, guys. All right, so in this first box, this is my jigs. The uh, like swim jigs, uh, football head jigs. I got some chatter baits in here as well. Uh, top left, all my football head jigs, well top, this top section up here, football head jigs, whether it be, or not really football head, just three eighths and uh, half ounce jigs, whether it be green pumpkin, uh, black and blue, white, I've got an orange colored one in the, in the, in the car, tied on a rod right now, I've got a sexy sad colored, uh, color chatterbait here, and a chartreuse and white color as well, I have a green pumpkin and a black and blue, those are both tied on in the car right now on the rods, I got a few black and blue swim jigs down here. Some these are Strike King, Strike King, Strike King, like a natural, like a brim color almost, if you want to call that. And then I have on this side, I have a, I believe this is a bluegill flash color divine six cents jig right there. And this is a more of a natural, like a black and blue and green pumpkin with a black head. That's a divine as well, six cents. Those are really good swim jigs right there. So that's that's my jig my jig box right there. Pretty much wraps that up. All right, buzz bait slash spinner bait box, which is really not organized at all. I need to do a better job with it. But uh, I've got a couple of different I've got a couple of different spinner baits in here. Usually I only keep a couple colors. Uh, chartreuse and white with a gold and silver spoon on that right there. Got that one. I have a I just bought this one. An all red one with red and gold blades on it. See if I can show you them blades. Well, they don't want to see that red blade on it. I think that'll be, I think this will kill it. This is a Strike King Banshee series as well. I think this will do really well in the, uh, when the spring here coming up. I got a couple of white, a couple of white spinner baits with the gold spoon as well. These are probably Booyahs right there. Let's see, another Booyah, a Strike King, the uh, heavier Hack Attack Strike King. And then this is a, I guarantee this is a cheap jawbone right here, but they're like $1.99 and I picked one up. But jawbone, mostly Strike King guys, Booyah, stuff like that, predominantly anyways, for my spinner baits. All right, uh, right here, I could not tell you what, what style this buzz bait is. This is in a mystery tackle box. This is a all black Strike King uh, buzz bait. One of the most identical to this is what caught me my personal best, eight pound, 14 ounce bass. So I always got that on deck for sure. Stays in the tackle box, even if I don't throw it. That's it for that box, guys. On to a box where I'm lacking. I need to need to step it up a little bit. Some top water stuff. Uh, I sold a lot of frogs, but I got my four main color frogs. I got a natural, white, black. This is an orange one. I really don't even throw this. It's a prop frog with a white belly on it. The only whopper plopper color I throw right here is the uh, black and white whopper plopper 90, I believe. I throw that like crazy. I have a six cents top water plug right here, popper. And then a, well, I wanna say a Livingston 
uh, walking bait as well in there. So that's I got us. I got stock up in here for sure. Probably my favorite box right here, and the hardest one to not buy stuff for. But uh, down here in the bottom left, I got my two cheap Sexy Shad Academy Sport slipless crankbaits. I catch a lot of fish on those. I love these. Uh, this is a cheap Cotton Cordell crankbait. This is a six cents. Got to have my six cents. Uh, that's like a 70, I think. This is a six cents quake bait here. That's going to be killing it in the spring. This is a Strike King Red Eye Shad right here. I have a gold one as well tied on out in the car right now. Always keep that. Uh, these two right here, six cents. Got to have my six cents. Nice, beautiful colors right here on these. Six cents has some fantastic colors and some great action uh, square bills. This is another uh, six cents right here. It's tangled up right now. Six cents, Cotton Cordell, all red. This is a six cents jerk bait, kind of like a clown color. Can't wait to throw this. I think this is going to catch a lot of fish. Like a red on the top, silver side plate, and then like an orange, yellow, gold on the bottom there. I think that's going to catch a ton of fish. And that's six cents as well. Then I've got a Lunker Hunt and a Smart Bait jerk bait up here as well. So that's it for the hard plastics. Like I said, guys, this year has been, I'm focusing on simplifying in 2019. So everything simplified down a lot more than what it was last year. All right, here we have my terminal tackle. I keep fish heads up here, like underspins and stuff up here, jig heads, shaky heads, offsets, screw-ons. Like these are like uh, three or four aughts. These are like three aughts, screw-ons. More shaky heads, a few more offsets. Uh, wacky rig right here. Another wacky rig there. Bobber stoppers, more offset worm hooks. Ned rig weights, offset hooks right here. More of them. I keep a lot of them. Some tungsten weight and some flipping hooks as well. Trocar flipping hooks. I throw VMC, Trocar, and Gamagatsu. That's really pretty much it. So that's it for my... my um, hooks terminal tackle that's it right there guys all right guys i forgot to put this in my salt my soft plastic category but it's probably one of the most important boxes I've, i have this is my senko my stick bait my stick bait and my trailers like my chatter bait spinner bait trailers as well um i've got a bunch of natural colors and some black and blues and purples and stuff some June bugs, pretty much all Yamamoto, big bite baits, um, yum, and Iron Mountain tackle for my stick, uh, stick baits. And then I have some Biospawn Exo Swim, green, like a green natural color. That's by Biospawn. And then all three of these here, and these, they got like a shiner color and a smaller size right here. Beautiful color by Kitek. And then a bigger size, same color in the Kitek. And then I have the pearl white and the Kitex. And these are all like 4.3s, I think, or 3.8s, either one. But um, I throw Kitex, Biospawns, Rage Tails for these for my trailers. And then uh, pretty much all Yamamoto and Yum and stuff like that for Senko. So that's the rest of my soft plastics, guys. And like I said, simplify. All right, guys. So first thing I want to say is 2019 is all about downsizing. Not really downsizing, but simplifying more or less than what I did when I first got into fishing. I was like, oh, I got to have that, I got to have that, I got to have that. But now with the time that I put in, I know what I need to have and what I don't need to have and what I need to spend money on and don't need to spend money on. And uh, recently with buying a new house, I'm in my new house now, um, that's a pretty big deal. So, And I know it's probably a pretty, good, uh, pretty big deal to you guys as well. So um, that's one thing I want to focus on is not buying more than what I need and uh, keeping things fairly simplified. And uh, I think this year I've really done a good job on that. So with that being said, that's all my soft plastics, all my terminal tackle, all of my um, hard plastics and stuff that I bring with me when I go fishing. Whether it's, I'll bring the whole thing to the pond, to the pond, it don't matter to me. I'll take the same bag to the lake. I keep everything that I have in that bag. So everything that I need to have, I have stuff laid back as well. But that being said, guys, I'm going to show you guys my rods and my reel setup, which I'm not entirely done with that. I have a surprise coming whenever I can get the rods in and they not be broken. I have a big surprise coming on that end. So that being said, guys, I'm going to show you what I have right now set up for 2019. 
minus two or three rods that I have to add to the arsenal. So stick with me. All right, guys, right here in front of me, I have my, as of right now, 2019 rod and reel arsenal. Like I said, I'm going to be possibly taking away a reel and a rod and adding two or three more, but right now, pretty comfortable where I'm at. I have a cheap setup that's going to be replaced, but I'll talk more about that in a second. <laughs> All right, guys, so first things first, right here, I have the uh, favorites balance select. 6.6 six medium spinning reel. This one may be replaced. I don't know yet. I like it a lot. Caught a lot of fish on it. But um, here I have a 7. That's about to fall. Uh, here I have a 7.3. Yeah. 7.3 extra heavy flares flipping frog. Or flares frogging flipping stick. And uh, that's paired up with a Origin LTE by 13 bait caster. Cheap bait caster. It's really done me really, really well. I'm pretty impressed with that. But uh, here is my cheaper setup. This is a Fluger Monarch rod and uh, rod right here, as you can see. Uh, this is my first bait, case, bait casting rod, and I actually have the bait caster that came with it. It's actually being uh, worked on right now. And right now I have a CC80. I can't think of the exact. This is the $59.99 Daiwa, and I'm actually demoing this one right now to uh, put a review out for you guys here soon. So. That's my cheaper setup. Really, right now you could buy this exact setup for like $80, this exact same one right here. So for budget, it's pretty dang good. Um, right here, I have the uh, Favorite Defender by Lunkers TV. This is probably my favorite setup right here, paired with the best reel, which I'm doing a review on this one as well. Paired with the best reel for $100, and that is the Daiwa Fuego. So, this right here is the baddest reel for $100 on the market. I don't care what anybody tells you, this is it right here. And like I said, paired up with that beautiful, that beautiful Lunkers Defender, uh, powered by Favorite. Got that uh, beautiful American flag, that nice black uh, grips as well, and that Fuego just, looks, just sets it off. Also, one of my favorite setups, this is my, my Fluger President XT on my and I, you gotta love them nice core candles, guys. And this is set up on my 7.2 medium heavy AP Bassin. This is actually a two piece rod, but uh, it gets the job done. So that's all of them. This is, uh, by the way, guys, this is a 7.3 medium heavy, I believe. Let me make sure before I tell you a lie. Yeah, 7.3 medium heavy, 7 foot medium heavy. And then, like I said, I have the extra heavy. But uh, this is my setup right now, guys. I have two rods coming, for sure two rods coming, that are going to be something special. So, with that being said, guys, that's what I have right now. Like I said, 2019 is a year of simplifying and really just honing in on what I'm confident in and what I can catch fish on. I'm going to be adding to this, uh, to my rod and reels. Stay tuned for that because I have a huge surprise coming that I think you guys are going to like a lot. I'm super excited. So it should be in the next couple weeks. I had some uh, some issues with some rods being broke on delivery and stuff like that. So with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for checking it out. Be sure to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you get notified every time that I upload a video. Thank you guys so much. God bless you. Have a great day.